Hi, and welcome to another tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at how to sort in Tableau. If you look at the data set that we have here, you can see that we have a few columns here. We have an order date, region, sales manager, and item for our dimensions. And then for our measures, we have unit and price. So we're going to primarily be focusing on units. And we just want to look in this particular example at sales managers and the units. And I want to be able to sort by the sales manager to see who ever had the top number of units. So let's go over to our first tab. So here we are, we're going to go ahead and we'll bring in our sales manager to the rows and you can see that we have all of our sales managers there. We have 11 different managers here and then we're going to bring in our units right here. So first off, we can see that Tableau is automatically assigned all the sales manager in alphabetical order and ascending order from A to T. The first thing I want to do is I want to just kind of sort these out. So the quickest way to do this is to go right up here and click on that button. As you can see, it automatically sorted everyone into order. And now the sales manager's name just go by the order of the people that are sorted. So this is a really quick way just to get something done. And actually, when you hover over it, Tableau is nice enough to show you exactly how it's going to sort the item. So here it says sorting descending order by the sum of the units. So it's going to take the sum of the units and whoever has the highest, put them at top. And here you'll see it'll just have the same thing, but it'll say sort it in ascending order. So I can just kind of reverse the order there. Easy easy peasy. So there's a few ways to clear this out. So we can actually just right click and we can hit clear sort. And now it's going to go back to alphabetical order. And you can see that, you know, Rob is down here in the middle and Mike, who is the top seller, these two are actually right next to each other, which is kind of cool. So that's one way to sort. That's a quick and easy way. Another way to sort is going to be by right clicking on here, just like we did to clear this sort. And we can actually go to sort. Now this menu brings us a lot more options. So obviously you can start by doing the data source. And since there's only a few items in here, it's just going to sort just these names. It's going to sort by whatever this column is, but we don't want to do that. We want to actually sort by this units measure over here. So we're going to click on this drop down menu. We're going to actually sort by a field and we're going to choose descending since I want all my top managers at the top. It automatically selected units in this case, but sometimes it'll default to something else. You can just go right here, click on units and you want the aggregation. You want the sum uh, right there. And we'll get into using some of the other metrics when we talk about level of details later on, but that is a very quick way to be able to aggregate all your data and have a little bit more control, especially as you have more dimensions over time. This is a very easy way to get that done. So those are a popular sorting method. So let's go up to the warp sheet and we will go here and we'll clear these sorts. So now you can see we're back to normal. So let's say that we do want to sort by units, but we don't want units to be in the view. So if you right click on units, you can see that there is no sort option here to be able to sort by units. So, but I do want to do an example where I have price on the screen. So let's just bring price in here. So you can see I have price and the price is different than the units. And you know what, maybe I just want to sort by the units or how about this? Let's do a calculated fill and let's see whoever had the most total sales. So I want to do whatever the price per, um, price is per unit times the units. And that should give me my total sales and we'll call it total sales. And I'm going to just take my price. Actually, let's do it like this. Let's take the sum of the price. And I want to multiply it by the sum of the units sold. Cool. And so that's just going to aggregate everything up to me into total sales. And I'm going to bring that into the view right here. Cool. So, and let's actually just format this properly. So it looks nice. We'll go to custom currency and I don't need any decimal places here. All right, cool. So I have it all in here. So now we can see that actually it looks like header over here is the number one salesperson in the group. And I want to be able to sort by that, but I don't really want to show that information. I just want to show price and units. So maybe I want to show number, I want to show total sales, but I want to show the top units up front, whatever it may be. In this example, what we're going to do is actually get rid of price and we're going to get rid of units. And, you know, I could easily just go right here. And now you can see that I can just sort by total sales and it'll put header right at the top. But say I want to sort by the person that sold the most amount of units. I can still do that. So here we have units. I'm going to bring that and I'm going to put that right here on the row. And so it's going to mess everything up. It's not going to look good because we have a continuous value there. What we're going to do is right click, turn it to discrete. And now you can see we have the numerical number of units sold. So as long as there's one unit per row, we can do it. And 
Tableau is nice enough to aggre aggregate it up using the sum function. We're going to move this over to the left now. So now we have this as a dimension, and when we right click, we now have the sort feature. So now I can go in here and sort, and we can just do nested, descending, and so see it defaulted to item there. I'm going to default it over to units. It's automatically going to change that to sum. So now I have my highest units up top. So now I still have Mike up top, Rob at the bottom, but I still get to see my total sales and I can sort specifically by that. Now, I don't want to look at this. I don't want users to know this. I don't want them to see how it's sorted. So I can actually go here and just unshow the headers. And now I have this in there and everything is sorted by whoever sold the most number of units. But the value that the user is going to see in there is the total sales. So those are three really quick ways to be able to sort items in Tableau from very little to very complex. In the next tutorial, we're going to dive in a little bit deeper so you can see exactly how sort works, how the queries work, and how Tableau uses all the different parameters in order to sort the data. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next video.